Hello everyone, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy and I'm here to bring you the weekly message of the Divine Masculine to its beloved for the week of October 14th to the 20th. Okay, and I sincerely hope that you watch the Twin Flame weekly reading before viewing this uh, because that helps put a much needed context to what the messages are. Okay, so anyway, um, as always, I've already prayed over the cards and shuffled them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, if you just stumbled upon my channel, uh, I hope you stick around and see what the other videos, uh, other messages um, are for you in the other videos. Do click the subscribe button or share the videos to a friend. Uh, that would really help and I would truly appreciate it. Okay? Um, anyway, at the bottom of the deck, uh, we have here the Eight of Cups. And usually, for the Divine Masculine message, the cards at the bottom of the deck um, speak to what to the state of the Divine Masculine, and this would be his message. So here, we have here the Eight of Cups. And when the Eight of Cups appears, this indicates uh, a feeling of uh, disappointment, regret, it's like, uh, you can see here that this man is perched atop. I'm fixing my earbuds because they might fall off. He's perched um, uh, atop this cliff. But it's very foggy. And so there's a lot of disappointment that he is almost um, reminiscing. Okay? Uh, it's like coming to terms with the things that did not turn quite out like he envisioned them to be in his life okay and then here we have here next we have um this is the two of i think it's cups yeah no 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 Th this would be two of wands okay two of wands and here this is looking out into the future. A uh, divine masculine uh, feeling that he was trapped before. And uh, looking very much to the future. You can see he's envying these birds that have freedom of flight and movement. And uh, the cage is just put... He knows that at any time he can release himself from the cage. Uh, by using his arms. So now he is uh, aligning uh, himself with, you can see the cage is already opened, okay? And uh, now using his visualization powers, his imagination, uh, and seeing how much more fulfilling life would be for him, unfettered um, and unhampered. Okay, so the Divine Masculine there, uh, wanting that freedom from all of this disappointment that has marred his life so far. And this is all part of his uh, ascension, his personal ascension journey. Because taking that step and releasing himself from that cage. And it's a good thing now that the Divine Masculine knows already that um, the cage was an illusion. Okay, that he could be just as free as the birds that he almost envied. Okay, and here it's all part of his personal ascension process. You can see here different islands, and in these islands, uh, there are stairs going to the next one. And so the Divine Masculine diligently climbed over all these stairs, just like what the Divine Feminine did, uh, okay? And now he can see things from a higher perspective, from, it's like a broader overview of things, rather than uh, he used to. And that's going to, here we have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords here, look, this is releasing all that pain. You know what? I didn't. I, I forgot um, that uh, 
there was um, a card in this deck that is exactly uh, like the dream that I spoke about in my third quarter summation video, I think. Uh, wherein, yeah, the blue whale was um, surfacing, except that in my dream it didn't have all these swords. And when you when you see this blue whale surfacing, that is uh, uh, emerging spirituality that really connects you. And see, because this whale has had all these swords um, on it, uh, this is a release from all that. And because it's a 10, that chapter of the Divine Masculine's life is coming to a close. Okay, so all, all that needs to be done is to release himself from this disappointment, uh, this disappointment, this regret, this guilt, and then uh, that will draw to a close that chapter of his life, which he has found thus far very unfulfilling, although he he went the distance, okay? It took him as he as far as it could take him, as far as satisfaction is concerned. And this is why I'm telling you um, to do watch the, the Twin Flame Weekly so that you know better what I'm talking about. And after that releasing, the end of that chapter, here we have the King of Swords. And again, like I said, watch the Twin Flame Weekly. This is confirmation. <clears throat> All the cards here, uh, especially the King of uh, Swords, also appeared uh, as the connecting card for both twins. Okay? Because here we have clarity, discernment, uh, purposeful action, and uh, the ability to, to master the way forward. Okay? So that's what... Um, Divine Masculine is currently up to. I don't know why my buds keep falling out of my ear. I have small ears, so... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, uh, before we get to these cards, I need to change battery, okay? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, let's look at the cards. First, we have the King of Cups. We have the Five of Wands, <clears throat> we have the Three of Wands, we have the Page of Coins, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, to understand this message of the Divine Masculine, uh, You need the context of why he's saying this to the Divine Feminine. That's why, do watch the Twin Flame Weekly video. Pause this and come back to it, okay? So anyway, Divine Masculine is saying to his beloved that, look, you have come to a point wherein you have mastered logic and emotion, okay? You're not... Uh, carried away anymore by your emotions. It's like uh, you've achieved this level of mastery wherein whatever happens, you can temper it with love so that there is a, a balance there. Okay, but now uh, because you want some changes in your life, uh, seeking satisfaction in your physical life here on earth, okay, um, here you can see that this, uh, the change, this is the transformation represented by, by the snake, okay, because the snake sheds its skin, it transforms, uh, and it's, you can see it over here, that it represents the infinity symbol, because, you know, change keeps going on, um, in an infinite number of ways. And of course, that is also representative of the Twin Flame journey here. Um, but now this transformation is being marred by this desires. Desires represented by the wands, okay? <clears throat> wands are will, because there's some things that the Divine Feminine wants to happen in her life, in her 3D life, that will bring her um, Again, a sense of satisfaction, okay, 
despite the fact that she knows that she's a multidimensional being. So these are causing interference, these desires, these wants. And um, Divine Masculine telling his beloved uh, that uh, look at it in terms of the bigger picture. This frog is looking at these three boats that are swirling in a whirlpool. And if he's not careful, because he mans um, the strings that tie these boats together, so this acts as a fulcrum, okay? And if he doesn't pay attention, then uh, one of these ships might go overboard. So basically, Divine Masculine saying, keep balance, okay? Look to the future, uh, check out the opportunities that are available to you, see how best you can, you can assess the situation uh, given what you want to happen and your own personal fulfillment before you act in it. Okay? Because look, he's saying <clears throat> you're already bountiful spiritually. And this card will have more meaning uh, if you see that in the Twin Flame Weekly, Divine Feminine wants things, more worldly things to complete her experience here on Earth. Okay? And he's saying you're already spiritually bountiful. You can see this coin and um, this coin and uh, the foxes. This lady is wading through the foxes, and that represents this, um, it's like a bridgeway, okay? Uh, spirituality, you can see that this is full, it represents like the full moon. Uh, it represents abundance, and but the foxes are, really pertain to the fact that the, the Divine Feminine is already spiritually abundant. Okay, and what he's saying is to really not lose sight of that. Maintain your gains. Okay, don't turn it into losses. Don't throw away, what's this, the, the baby with the bath water. Okay, because you've worked so hard for this. Uh, and because... You can see this card. You can see where the whirlpool is. <clears throat> and that's um, yellow uh, pertaining to the solar plexus. And uh, turning slightly into orange, which would pertain to pleasure, sacral chakra. And it's kind of uh, divine feminine wanting all these categories in her life, or the major categories, to converge into that point where she derives pleasure in who she is. And when she's looking at who she is, she's just not looking at herself, her sense of self, in terms of one dimension only, but a lot, okay? And because she has advanced so much uh, going into the fifth dimension, there is a, a look back and seeing, wait a minute, I've been uh, taking the 3D for granted and now wanting to balance that out, which I don't really blame her for. And so the Divine Masculine is saying, don't throw the baby out with the bath water because if you remain true to yourself, okay, true to your spiritual abundance, look, uh, this is destiny, this is uh, the wheel of fortune, this is karma, uh, well, the good kind, the way laymen understand karma, okay? Good coming back to you, and uh, basically he's saying is that uh, things will open up as it should for you, because you've already done the work here, you've laid the groundwork, and uh, this physical reality is merely but a reflection of the work that you've been doing in uh, in the higher realms okay so very reassuring there and coming in with a word of advice uh, for his beloved that despite the interference of his desire of her desires okay 
Divine Feminist Desires in her transformation. He's urging the Divine Feminine to remember all these anchors and to be grateful, okay? Because this is also gratitude. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, to be grateful of how far she's come and to not lose sight of that. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, the message of the Divine Masculine to his beloved and um, that's what I have for you. So, uh, as always, um, the site is still up. Do pay me a visit at yellalchemy.com or check out Facebook. I also am on Instagram. And um, if you think you need a reading or a healing, do check out which of um, which uh, of uh, the service that I offer can help you. Okay, because it is uh, a privilege and an honor to really exchange energies with you and help you along your ascension journey. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Take care, everyone. Bye.